So um, I'm, I'm a little bit different. Um, I'm a little unique, I guess. Um, I, I do comedy a little bit differently than, than just standing up here and doing jokes. So I'm going to try something new, something called live action poetry reading. Anybody hear of that? Live action poetry reading? No? Fuck no, you haven't, because I just made that shit up. <laughs> so, that, I know, right? I'm a little weird, and you're going to find out as we go along that it's going to get a little weirder. So I do have one rule during this uh, live action poetry reading. Are you wondering, what the live action poetry reading? See, I censored that. I'm working on that. Thanks, guys. So what the is a live action poetry reading? Well, let me explain it to you. Basically, I'm going to read a poem that I wrote, and I'm going to have an actor who is going to act out my poem. So please give it up for Kate. Kate, come on out, Kate. Come on out, Kate. We're all waiting to see Kate. There's Kate. Kate is dressed in a lovely outfit today. She is representing all of the bearded clams. Thank you, Kate. Kate is a volunteer from the audience. She is pretty awesome. I really. She actually wants to be a stand-up comedian, and she is probably going to take my stage. Which, can I just knock it off, okay? Just, look, you're taking it. It's like, whatever. Oh, shit. My turn. <laughs> All right, guys. Okay, so, um, the very, I only have one role while we're doing this live action poetry reading, and that is, um, this is a no fun squashing zone. I even made you a little sign, so do not squash the fun. That means keep your little snide remarks if you want to be an a-hole and you drink too much. Just shut the fuck up. Oh, shut the up. Sorry. Um, all right, let's get this thing started. You guys ready to hear about the clam jam? All right. <clears throat> oh, let me get let me get poetry right. <clears throat> I am a bearded clam, standing in the sun. Damn, you're good. Stroking my magnificent beard, waiting for just the right one. Good job. Good job stroking my beard. Kyle, you must be, is it Riley over there? Riley, this is her husband. Riley, you like that, don't you? Right? <laughs> oh, God, I, I'm married. Sorry, Liz. She's doing a damn good job, then. <laughs> so, the older beards tell me, now don't you have too much fun? Then they warn of diseases like syphilis, gonorrhea, and of course the dreaded molestum contagiosum. What? Fuck. You know how hard it is to rhyme the word fun? It took me 15 minutes to Google. I found molestum contagious. Does anybody know what that is? Molestum contagious. You're a nurse. You told me you were a nurse. Bad call. <laughs> What's molestum contagiosum? You don't know. You're a shitty nurse. You should do stand-up. She should do stand-up, right, guys? Everybody give, give her a round of applause. I'm going to applause for her. Ask for her a lot. So molestum contagiosum is actually water warts. I know you didn't think you were going to learn some tonight, but you're going to go home informed. Water warts, molestum contagiosum. All right. Now I'm going to need two male volunteers who are single. Although in this case, we're going to go ahead and take one guy who's married and let him come on up. Come on up, Riley. Riley. Come on up, Riley. Hey, Riley. <laughs> All right. So I need another male volunteer that's single. Come on, don't make me pick. Male volunteer that's, do we have, do we have any single guys here tonight? Single guys, raise your hands. Get the out of here. There he is, there he is. Wow, man, dude, do you feel kind of like left out a little bit? I mean, you know, the only single dude here? What are the hell are the odds of that shit, right? All right, thank you, dude. This, and what's your name? This is Nick. Everybody give it up for Nick. Thank you, Nick. You're a great guy, dude. Come on up, come on up, come on up. All right. Now, I need to get you guys a little prepared. She's got a costume. I don't want you to be jealous. So I'm going to get you a little costume. <clears throat> Kyle, for you. Just put that around your neck. You don't have to put it on your face, all right? I wouldn't put it on my face, really. You don't want to know what I did with that shit. You and my wife are into some weird stuff, you know? <laughs> so just round your neck, round your neck. Good job, guys. You're doing great. Thank you. Are they doing great? Is she doing great? Are we doing great? Good. Good. All right. Let's change the page. I'm going to eventually memorize this, and then I won't look like a lame ass over here reading, but... 
Let me get back to my, your part, part me, dude. I gotta get my poetry pose. Yeah. <laughs> Along came two clam divers looking to get some. Uh, you're in the ocean, guys. Clam divers in the ocean, you're swimming. You don't have to put the goggles on. Swim, that's right. There you go. Along came two clam divers looking to get some. Yeah, is that how you look when you're gonna get some, dude? Hey. Uh, but the bearded clam was wise and knew what must be done. She made them do a song and dance to prove they were the one. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you heard that right. A song and dance. But don't worry, you guys aren't going to get out either. Audience, you guys are going to help them out because we don't have any music here. Ryan, you cheap shit. <clears throat> so we don't have any music here, so I'm going to cut the room in half, right? So this is half. See that pole there to the left? That's one half. This side, another half. Got it? Everybody got it? Good. All right, so this side is going to go. This is going to be your, uh, can you hold I'll just use the mic stand. Thank you. You're, you're doing great. Look at her up there at front. I think she's loving this more than me. Okay, let me go get my... Damn, I left that. Okay, so... <clears throat> where, where are we at? Oh, yeah. You're the left side, right? So you guys are going to go. Are you with me? Are you guys with me, lefties? All right, lefties, you're going to go. And you don't have to do it on the table. You're just gonna you're gonna just sing, all right? You don't have to clap or anything. Just go. All right, you ready? Boom, clap, boom, boom, clap, boom, clap, boom, boom, clap, boom, clap, boom, boom, clap, boom, clap, boom, boom, clap. You feeling that? Boom, clap, boom, boom, clap. All right, my righties. All right, you guys ready, righties? Keep that shit going. Clap, boom, boom, clap. Boy, you the you're white, all of you, aren't you? You're all white people. I can tell right now. They're all, I'm feeling it. Feeling that? Boom, boom, clap. Boom, clap. Boom, boom, clap. Now to the right. Okay, guys? You guys got it easy. You're going to go boom, 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 clap. Boom, 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 clap. Boom, 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 clap. Now, let's start with the guy with the little hose. He's at a little bit of a disadvantage. So let's go ahead and see those moves that are going to show her that you're the one. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's awesome. Yeah. All right. All right. Keep on. Keep it up, guys. You guys, make, you guys are really making me proud right now. So I'm feeling this. Are you ready, Kyle? Riley, I mean. Whatever your name is. Yes. The husband. Dude, you better bring it, bro. Because this dude... This dude's not gonna go. You need to go home alone, and you're gonna make that happen, right? Let's do it. Yeah. Give it up for him, guys. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. <laughs> thank you. You guys can. Thank you, thank you. You guys were awesome. Thank you. Everybody, give them a round of applause for these guys. That took a lot of balls. Took a lot of balls. Thank you, guys. Took some. No, no, no. You're leaving that shit on. You're not done yet. I'm not done with you. <laughs> so, uh, where was I? But the bearded clam was too wise. No, that's where I was. Oh, yeah, that's right. Next page. We're almost done. The bearded clam sees the way each diver shapes. Oh, what did I forget, guys? What did I forget? The, the fucking poetry pose. God, you motherfuckers are slow. <laughs> The bearded clam sees the way each diver shakes their buns and decides to give her pearl to whomever was more fun. There's her pearl. She shall now choose. Of course, she's going to go. Oh, she's going to make it a little mysterious. She's going to go. Ah, yes. You get the pearl, Riley. You knew that was happening. They're married. I mean, don't feel bad, dude. <laughs> Okay, so let's see here. Now, if you don't mind, we are done with with Nick. We're done with Nick. Yeah. Thank you, Nick. You've been a great sport. I will be doing a post interview, so be prepared for that. Stay, stay right up here, okay? Yeah, thank you. Thank you, Nick. You're awesome. All right, so let's go ahead and you're gonna come over here, right over there, and you're gonna come right over here, and you're gonna put that ball on the red net. There you go, right there. There you go, right there. I'm sorry. <laughs> All right, and we are almost done. You're
Here's the final line, guys. Unfortunately, our story's over, and all is said and done. As for the bearded clam and diver, well, their story's just begun. Aww. Yeah, that's it. Bring it in. Thank you, guys. Thank you so much. You guys were awesome. You can go ahead and um, just go toss that stuff on the stage. Yeah, go ahead. You can show them your parts. That they're not going to um, So I do want to do a little post performance interview. If you don't, oh no, wait, you're not coming. You're not leaving. You're not running out of here. Like just getting undressed. Just getting undressed. <laughs> All right. So uh, I'm going to start with you. Um, actually, no, you don't. You're gonna, you're free. You though. You are the one I'm going to get. So I just want to know. Did the did having the smaller hose affect your performance? Um, I'd say it increased it, if anything. Right, because you felt like what? Like uh, you needed to show up for the little people. Right, show it up for the little people. <laughs> right, right, exactly, right. More to prove, right? Okay, I just want to get. I know you guys were all curious. I was curious. If you weren't, I was. And I got the answer. And you, I just like one question for you. Did having, or did hose size influence your decision at all? I mean, do you think that mattered? Did hose size actually, you know, how did you view the hose size? Did it matter? I mean, I know he's your husband, so this is kind of getting weird, but, you know, I didn't expect you to be married, so the hell you want from me? Uh, well, I have to go with my husband either way. Right, because the hose is huge, and you're always going to go with the big hose, right? That's why I married him. Wow, dude. Way to go, Riley. Packing the heat, Riley's packing the heat. All right, hey, give it up for packing the heat, this guy. <laughs> All right, you know what? That's pretty much my time. Thank you so much, you guys. Thank you. You have been a great audience tonight. I appreciate it. Have a good night.